Hello. <laughs> Welcome to today's video in which I will be speaking about a pen. The pen is this pen. I need to do something so there's like white behind here. But anyway, it is this. It is the Twisby Eco in the smoke and rose gold finish. You might be thinking, hey, I've seen this video from you before. No, that was the 580 rose gold smoke finish and this is the eco so that's the difference very very curious and i don't know why i did that uh this is on loan from apple Bomb, so i'm gonna share it with you we're gonna look at it you know the deal it's a pretty awesome pen for i mean it's like a solid writer nib is enjoyable large ink capacity piston filler this one's like 55 or 56 dollars because it's this, a special coloration and the rose gold tends to be more expensive but you can get like the regular ones for like 35 bucks so i think they're really quite decent so if the fun color is worth it to you fantastic so we're gonna look at the fun color and that's that's pretty much that i don't i don't really need to say anything else up here but deal like no, okay, here we are with my twist bay. Very cute. I like Twisby packaging. Very simple, super useful. So if you want to see what's inside, we have the little box. The boxes can be very confusing and tricky. So they have a sticker and you have to open the, like cut the sticker. Otherwise you'll be struggling to open this thing and it just won't open. Now Twisby gives you everything you need. Okay, so it comes with a little thing about how to fill your pen and what to do and what not to do. So that's great because I do feel like a lot of new users get these pens and a lot of people gift them and you know, even experienced users like experienced pen users or people with lots of pens get them and they may not necessarily know what to do with a pen. So this is very useful. And because Twisby provides their little wrench and grease, it also provides you the information on how to disassemble and like what to do, etc. Now, they also include this. Do not use rubbing alcohol on your pen because it can cloud the clear plastic. I actually didn't know that when I first bought my Pelican M1005, which is clear. And I was like, oh no, I gotta get the ink out of here. And I used alcohol miraculously because maybe it was just a short period of interaction. It didn't discolor, but it can happen. So just so you know, uh, it, I appreciate that kind of warning. So it's very useful and you can reuse it. It's awesome. Now, Le Twisbe Eco. Very cute. This was lent to me by Applebaum. Thank you, Applebaum. I really appreciate the support. It allows me to like share pens with you and it's awesome. So this is like a $56 pen according to the exchange rate right now, US dollars. It may vary a little, but you know, it's let's just say 55. So it's not super cheap and it's not super expensive. It's a pretty fair price for what you're getting. Now it comes with extra fine, fine, medium, broad, 1.1 millimeters. And it's a pretty small nib, so it's not the like full size of, uh, like it's thinner. So there's that, this is the 580. And other than that, it's clear. So this is the smoke and rose gold. So the cap and the, the piston turning knob are like this clear smoky thing. And then you've got your rose gold trim and the rest of the pen is clear. You've got your clear section. I think that's really fun. I really like that. Overall, I really like the look of the pen. I don't have my 580 smoke and rose gold because I've lent it to a friend. So I've got the regular one to show you. But it's a very nice, elegant touch to a pretty casual, economical pen. So if you want something that's like a little fancier, I think it's an awesome option and it writes really well. I've had my 580 for like almost a year now and uh, not this one. This one has several cracks, but my other one doesn't. And to be honest, 
it's cracked, but it's still functioning. Like, here's one. It's still functioning, so I'm not going to bother replacing the parts until I have to. In my experience, the Eco does pretty well. So there's that. The barrel is round, and the cap is hexagonal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, hexagonal. So I like the variation, and I do like that it stops it from rolling. The 580 faceted barrel, in my opinion, is prettier, but you know, whatever. Maybe you won't like it as much, or maybe you will like it as much. There's that. However, that is not the key. The thing is, this holds a fair amount of ink, considering its size, and um, they're pretty easy to clean. If you really have to, you could take it apart and clean it and grease it, but I would really only take it apart if you have to, you know, like if there's some reason you have to, because it's just, it's just unnecessary if you don't have to. So anyway, nice size pen, uncapped, none of this is sharp. There's a little ridge at the end of the section, it's not slippery, it's light and comfortable and well balanced. No, well balanced, it is well balanced, it's just that I didn't find the spot, there we go. It is well balanced and it posts and it's snug and secure. It's a little long when it's posted so I use it unposted, but I'm also not a person who posts. Anyway, you want to see it right. I want to see it right too, so let's do this. Okay, so hang on, one sec. Um, let's do this. My issue with the uh wow, my brain just stopped. Um, I I don't remember. Okay, wow. Okay, I'm just gonna write. That's scary. Twiz Bay. Eco. This is the uh, smoke. I need to eat. My brain is like failing. Smoke and rose gold on loan from Apple Bomb. Remember, you can use the discount code included below and you can get 10% off your purchase. I don't get a commission, I'm just telling you so you can enjoy it. The nib is a broad steel and it is a superb writer it's wet the ink is pilot you know shizuku i re-inked this like four times now just straight i haven't cleaned it i've just kept re-inking it with the same ink and it's performing quite well take sumi so it's their black I don't know what that is, a, a squiggle and a, I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's quite wet, um, free weight, it's good. It does, if I leave it uncapped, I do find it dries quickly, but that could also, actually that's very likely a function of the ink as well. When I've left it capped, it's got that inner cap in there, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see it better on the clear models like the all clear models, it, it doesn't dry out very easily. So that's awesome. Okay. Uh, what do I usually do? Oh, the nib. Look at that. Beautiful. That's outstanding. And that has been my experience. It has not been skippy. It works well with fast writing. It just keeps up really well. <clears throat> so I had, <clears throat> sorry, my VAC Mini used to actually dry out, even with the knob open and everything. And I haven't had that experience with the 580, with the regular nibs, like the fine to broad, or the Eco, or the Go. So I'm pretty happy with that. The ink flow is consistent, it's reliable. I really like this color. It's very pretty, although they keep making really cute ones. So I really like the clear, which is a crazy deal at $34 or so. So this is like twice the price for the pretty factor. Yeah, I think it's still, uh, I mean, it's more expensive, but you know, whatever, it's pretty. If you like the color, it's worth it. Um, a superb 
pen for long writing sessions because it's comfortable, it's light, it's fun. Yay! The thing with the eco is that it's fantastic for the fact that I mean it's affordable it's cool but it has a piston so you don't need to like carry up a converter you don't need to worry about having a converter it's like a package all in itself you know it's like a really convenient self filler so I really like that fabulous isn't it Okay, let's change the angle and have some fun at the angle. that wraps that up thank you all so much for watching thank you to Applebaum for loaning me this pen I hope you enjoyed or learned something or felt some emotions or didn't whatever it takes whatever makes you happy fabulous I am Aziza at gourmet pens signing out for now you know the deal, you know the drill, you know what the stuff is. You've been here before, hopefully, maybe. Take care. We'll see you next time. Huh? I could be like Jordy, the side if the from from Star Trek or Cyclops.